Hello traders and welcome to the weekly overview and trade ideas. We have a really bumpy week ahead of us and I will give you a great top down analysis to, to make you ready for that. We have uh, FOMC, we have uh, BOE, we have the BOG and do not forget the G20 meeting that are going to be very very important to keep an eye at. So while I roll the interim disclaimer hit that like button for me and if you're new to this channel do not forget to subscribe. See you there. So welcome back guys well as usual gonna start with the uh, Dixie and uh, here we are on the daily time frame on the Dixie so um, we know that we had this uh, major neckline and this nice double top on the Dixie on the daily time frame we broke that neckline and pushed lower to test this key level of uh, a trend line here as you see been tested many times at that same level we had also the 200 moving average on the daily time frame and uh, since then we start pushing to the upside uh, Friday we had a very very nice uh, and strong momentum candle <clears throat> it was a pretty slow starting week to then on Friday uh, push all the way up we almost reached the 618 Fibonacci retracement of uh, this whole leg to the downside and uh, we also reached the uh, almost reached the monthly pivot point uh, level so uh, if you remember uh, the previous uh, overview we said if we uh, break this neckline we're gonna look for some kind of uh, retracement and maybe continuation to the downside now what we look for next week we're gonna see if this area here gonna hold we do know that this been acting as nice resistance in the past as you see here uh, tested uh, three times almost tested here also as good support many times here as well it is pretty interesting area where we have this monthly pivot point and the 618 Fibonacci retracement so that is the level I'm watching first for next week if we go down to the four hour time frame we see it clearly here which structure I'm talking about so it's really important that we keep an eye on this level if the market uh, failed to break above this area here above these uh, previous tests here if we fail to make a um, new high and keep pushing higher then there is a possibility for that uh, reversal to start happening back to the downside uh, from that area uh, <clears throat> otherwise if the market managed to uh, break above this and hold above it we gonna probably look for another move to the upside where we gonna tag this previous high to then we start looking for the next leg to the downside yeah so mostly uh, I'm looking first off here to see uh, bearish evidence and if that is the case looking for a retest of this um, channel it could be also a, a slow uh, correction until we get the FOMC do not forget about that so we may go slowly like this as well or if we start the week again pushing higher strongly and push to the upside we're gonna keep an eye on this during the FOMC seems like the market is expecting a dovish uh, one and if that is the case this is gonna be the scenario a trade to the downside on the dollar um, oil we have um, let's go to the daily time frame uh, on that as well and uh, even on the weekly so on the weekly time frame we see that we uh, tested this uh, pretty interesting area uh, down here um, finally I got my lines back you see here this level been acting uh, very very nicely as support and resistance structure here uh, we tested here a couple of times now we could not see uh, that the market gonna break lower the 200 moving average on the weekly is also at that level the price uh, managed to uh, push back and close at that um, uh, moving average we had a couple of uh, weekly wicks coming from the downside on this um, market uh, if we go to the daily we see that we have a possible double bottom with a uh, bullish divergence on the rsi as you see up here uh, so this market may give us some kind of uh, sideways move uh, some kind of consolidation here at least so um, to keep an eye on this down here as your possible support if we go to the four hour we see it uh, much much better this is your resistance this is your support 
and uh, after such a move to the downside there is a possibility that we see some kind of a deep correction to the upside so this could be a possible scenario that you see a deeper correction toward the monthly r1 and this uh, previous uh, support and resistance structure so to keep an eye on that yeah so range uh, range bound so far uh, keep an eye on uh, this is the key high this is the key low really a low that uh, the bulls gonna uh, defend strongly here because a break below that that would send us uh, all the way back to uh, the areas around the uh, 4250 as you see here there is not much on the way down here in this area if we manage to break down here uh, at around the uh, 51 area <coughs> that is uh, the real uh, support on this market so keep an eye on this uh, possible double bottom on the daily with that bullish divergence um, again some kind of uh, correction to the upside is possible but we need to see the market breaking above this high here on the daily and if that is the case then you have another uh, push to the upside toward this area okay so possible bullish bounce uh, here if support keep holding on oil <coughs> gold uh, we had a really strong push to the upside on uh, Friday that got rejected, but we're going to need to go to the weekly to see where we are at uh, with gold here. I was expecting actually gold to um, at least reach these highs and tag above these highs before any reversal to happen. That uh, didn't happen yet. We had a strong push toward the uh, 1358 area to then um, got rejected very very strongly from this level where we also had the uh, weekly r1 uh, pivot up here and if we uh, look left you see how important this area is so we were expecting some kind of either consolidation or a continuation on gold and um, very strong push again for our time frame you see it clearly here this was very very strong and we were expecting some more correction before the next move to the upside so what happened was uh, a shallow correction i would say and that push higher yeah um, again as far as this is still holding as support gold still could continue from this area for one more upside uh, early next week keep an eye on this uh, trend line here if uh, gold managed to break below it look for correction and that one more leg down at least toward this level if that fails as well the next target should be around the uh, <coughs> 1310 and that could be also uh, defended by uh, the bulls so you should keep an eye on that level as well but um, yeah we should really keep an eye on this trend line because this rejection was very very strong here uh, from the bears and um, the question is are they gonna make us some kind of flag and give us the next leg to the downside or that's it and then they will try to buy it again urius also very very strong we uh, strong push on uh, friday um, as you see uh, bears been in control uh, almost the whole day pushing the price all the way back down toward the 618 Fibonacci retracement and this neckline so if we go uh, to the weekly on this chart you see that um, the previous week tested the 200 moving average here uh, it reached all the way to monthly R2 as well and uh, it was like uh, a possible signal for a continuation on the daily we broke a major trend line we broke one high here couple of highs here we broke even above this high so the market was very strong pushing uh, breaking all these highs without uh, almost any issues at all and uh, yeah the uh, the scenario was uh, to look for a retracement and continuation so basically on the daily time frame if you look at this chart on the daily your swing is like this this swing high this swing low is the major one and this is your uh, second uh, swing high here which is uh, the key one and i think 
where the market is testing right now is the major swing low and if this got broken strongly then we're gonna see the euro pushing back down and we maybe start looking to buy it from this level but as it is right now uh, you should really keep an eye on this uh, level where the market is testing right now we have the 618 fibonacci retracement we have this uh, major swing low we have uh, the neckline uh, from this uh, triple bottom or double bottom uh, here and here that got uh, broken and getting retested the last time we pushed strongly from this area Friday there was no rejection from this level uh, there was almost, almost no profit taking at all at this level and we have the 200 moving average on the four hour also at that area so it is a key level it could at least give you some kind of slow correction or a momentum move that will signal that uh, the bulls uh, are still trying to uh, keep control of this uh, um, market to the upside yeah so what to look for next week is if we start going like this slowly 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 that could signal that we having a, a bearish flag and the possible next leg to the downside which gonna mean we're gonna test these lows here to then start looking for that reversal once again to the upside or if we start seeing a really good momentum here impulse to the upside and slow correction to the opposite direction that would mean possibly continuation in any case you really should keep an eye on this area this is gonna be uh, a key level uh, short term on this market longer term the key level is still down here as you see okay sterling uh, usd also uh, pushed lower the dollar was very very strong on friday um, was um, stronger than almost all the other currencies uh, so the sterling on the weekly time frame again we're sitting back at this uh, 1.26 support area uh, this is a key level as you see on the weekly time frame a break below this uh, 1.26 uh, uh, strong one will send us uh, much lower we start looking at this swing low and these swing lows in that case which mean monthly s1 monthly s2 may got tested yeah on the daily time frame you see that we had this uh, attempt to push higher got rejected at the previous um, support and resistance area and uh, since then it kept pushing lower to then break this um, uh, correction and uh, on friday very strong push lower where the market is sitting right now is a key level in my opinion and that is an area to keep an eye at because there is a possibility that we start having some kind of consolidation here before either a break to the downside or a rotation back up yeah so uh, pretty interesting level keep an eye on this uh, still there is no signal i don't see any divergence or something like that well on the daily we do have a nice divergence actually but not on the lower time frame so we do have this uh, divergence going on but that is not enough we mu we must see some more um, um bullish evidence uh, at least something as we had here a push lower uh, tag the lows to then uh, get rejected that could be something because the range is still this area here by low sell high until we have a break out of it but the sterling still looking uh, pretty weak so far usd jappy also um, still halted in this area in a range uh, 108 is a key level we know that if we look at the daily we tested lower to then push higher and keep uh, inside this upper range now and uh, friday's candle was a nice uh, bullish uh, uh, bullish engulfing candle which means that continuation to the upside to test this structure is very very possible this is very interesting level for me to look for a possible retest and uh, another continuation to the downside so the four hour time frame you see we had a we have a very very um, ranging and slow moving market on uh, uj and i think a breakout if it happens it's gonna give you a very strong push to the upside almost equal to this one uh, here but to the opposite which means uh, an upward move toward um, uh, this area around the um, 110 109 is the first uh, objective for sure if we break higher here 
So yeah, uh, keep an eye on this. Keep buying this area down here unless you see it broken st strongly or a strong break above this. You start looking for retest and continuation to the upside on this market. Um, USD chief. Also, let's go to the weekly time frame. We ended up with a inside bar uh, the last week after a strong break below this trend line. We almost tested the 200 moving average on the weekly, which is here, down here. We had the monthly S2 as well at that level. And uh, we know that this has uh, been a nice, interesting area of support and resistance here. So you really need to keep an eye on that uh, level. If we go to uh, down to the daily time frame, uh, the first structure I'm looking at uh, for the next week is where the market is going to test uh, very soon. So after this uh, trending market on the daily time frame, we broke uh, this uh, major structure as well. We broke the 200 moving average and uh, the major trend line. So uh, a correction and retest of this area is uh, pretty good level to look at we're gonna start looking at this level when the market reached this area for bearish evidence in case we have anything like that to send look for that continuation on this market as for now uh, there is uh, still no signals the uh, correction uh, just started we just broke above this uh, neckline here and this uh, could push some more to the upside keep an eye on this uh, trend line here uh, on the four hour time frame and this uh, kill zone between the 38 and the 50 uh, Fibonacci retracement that could be the level where we're gonna start uh, looking for bearish evidence and if that is the case one more leg to the downside is possible on this market and USD CAD same scenario very strong uh, Friday so uh, the weekly time frame looks like this and again we are waiting for something like this to happen or like that after the correction here ends the bigger trend uh, trade is this one so keep an eye on this trade do not forget about it uh, daily time frame we know that we broke a key structure here to the downside we uh, broke below all these lows as well to then uh, test the 200 moving average monthly s2 got tested as well and uh, we start having the correction the correction was expected and i told you last week uh, look for that uh, retracement or correction to then we start looking to uh, try to sell this market uh, that is still the same case uh, and the same idea and uh, as for now we do not have any um, any um, signal that there is a short to come uh, we have um, the 50 uh, percent Fibonacci retracement at this level 618 is a little bit higher at this neckline also important we have the uh, 200 moving average on the four hour as well at this level and we just broke above monthly s1 once again so we're gonna look for bearish evidence in this uh, zone here and if there is uh, no real uh, bearish evidence and the market start giving you this slow correction like that that could mean another attempt to reach the highs and uh, you should not be shorting in that case you should be uh, we should be following uh, uh, this uh, possible new momentum to the upside if we get uh, a slow correction like that uh, toward um, test the highs once again okay um aussie new zealand uh, uh sorry aussie usd i would say weekly time frame you see where we are right now so this is getting very very interesting the aussie is very weak we are testing uh, these areas right now uh, and below that there is nothing on the way until we start uh, reaching these levels so it is a, a major support level and a break below that will open a really strong uh, momentum to the downside the market is still trending lower on the daily below the 200 moving average what we've got was a retest and continuation 
uh, very strong push lower but again we are sitting back down on this support right now so we should really keep an eye on that support if it's gonna hold or if it's gonna break because a break below this a strong break below this that will signal that uh, longer term continuation to the downside on this market keep an eye on that uh, FOMC though because uh, that's gonna be very important another thing we do have uh, a nice uh, bullish uh, divergence on the RSI and the daily so this double bottom is still a possible scenario that you see some kind of bounce from that um, it could be uh, this case now after this impulse that we start having some kind of flat formation before any reversal to the upside or a um, uh, let me close my uh, notifications or uh, a continuation lower so new possible scenario here by the low sell the high until we have a break out of this range and really keep an eye on this support level down here that is a major level and if broken not much will stand in the way of this market and New Zealand USD almost the same scenario here we go to the weekly and we see that we are testing yet another uh, important level and below that there is not much uh, i could also show you my monthly idea that i have since this correction started for a very long time ago on the new zealand usd a possible a b c d con um, move but uh, before that happens we need to see a break below the b leg here so on the monthly it does really look that this scenario may happen here uh, another uh, continuation but there is a lot to happen before that uh, again the monthly time frame we uh, broke these major levers we did a retest and now we have some kind of continuation as you see this is very possible scenario that we reach and test this major swing low here so uh, weekly time frame again there was um, a gap that got closed to then bearish engulfing candle here after that 38.2 fibonacci retracement monthly r1 a retest of the neckline and as you see if we break this low here we're gonna test lower and lower and lower so um there is a lots of um, opportunities here if those uh, breaks start to happen so on the daily time frame keep an eye on this we may break below this and test these lows and maybe continue to the downside but again why to sell at support after such a very strong move to the downside uh, we need to have some correction you see this was a mirroring of uh, what happened to the upside so it was like this and a v-shape back down uh, to the downside for our time frame is also uh, extremely oversold and we testing support i would say um, it could be time for some correction if we get a slow correction like this keep an eye on this area here as your first level of uh, trouble or the possible sell area if this market managed to break above that then we are going for one attempt to the upside the same scenario as the aussie possible um, flat formation uh, down here before any continuation yeah so um, yeah those were uh, the ideas for uh, these weeks i hope you guys like those uh, videos and you, if you do so do not forget to give me that uh, like button and uh, again if you're new to the channel do not forget to, to subscribe so um, yeah bye bye and see you next week